welcome to Learn Japanese from the News. Thanks for joining us. In this program, we'll learn Japanese and about the country through Japanese news stories. Today, we're shining a light on Japanese names. Our headline is Kira Kira Name wa Mitome Nai. Before we watch the news clip, let's go over some words to listen for. Unique or distinctive. Koseki. Family register. Home show. Ministry of Justice. Okay, let's watch the news clip. Saikin. 字の読み方などが個性的なキラキラネームと呼ばれる名前が増えています戸籍には名前の読み方が書いていないため役所がコンピューターで手続きをすることが難しくなっていますこのため法務省は2月2日戸籍の法律を変える案を考えました案では名前にカタカナで読み方を書くことにしますそして名前に使う字は一般に認められている読み方にしなければならないという規則を作ります例えば「高い」と書いて漢字の意味と違う「ひくし」という読み方にするのは認められません法務省はどんな読み方が認められないかを決めて法律ができる前に知らせると言っています Let's talk about the basics of Japanese names My name is 山口博明山口 is my 名字 or 姓 that is my family name and 博明 is my 名前 that is my given name Right. But can't Namae also refer to somebody's full name? Exactly.、Uh, depending on context, Namae can mean given name, family name, or full name. Yeah. So when we want to refer specifically to a person's given name, we sometimes say, Shita no Namae, which literally means lower name. We say, Shita no, because Japanese is traditionally written vertically. With the family name first and the given name below that. That's good to know because shita no namae is an expression that you hear quite often.、Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, let's review the following sentence from the story. Saikin, ji no yomi kata nado ga kosei teki na kira kira name to yobareru namae ga fue te imasu. Now, read along with me. Saikin, 字の読み方などが個性的なキラキラネームと呼ばれる名前が増えています。So what are some examples of キラキラネーム？ Well, キラキラネーム are often written using kanji, but the kanji are given non-standard readings. So take a look at this, Kiara. How would you read this?、Uh, maybe seichi. Um, well, the intended reading is actually seshiru. Technically speaking, this kanji has the reading sei, and this kanji can be read shiru. Apparently, the parents wanted to evoke the name Cecile. <laughs> I get it, seshiru,、uh-huh. ne? I can understand the thinking behind this one. Right. <laughs> Here's another example. Any guesses? Well, I mean, regularly this is read kishi. Exactly. These characters are typically read kishi, which is the Japanese word for night. So actually, the intended reading is naito. <laughs> oh, I see. So it's a knight in shining armor. Oh, goodness. That is definitely a kira kira name.、Yeah. And I mean, it is unconventional,、mm. but it's a kind of creative way to play with the kanji, which is quite neat. But under the proposed revisions, Certain name readings would no longer be accepted. For example, using the kanji for takai, but giving it an ironic reading like hikushi. Or using the kanji for the name taro, but having the reading be something completely unrelated like maikeru. 
Now, the story describes these names as koseteki. Now, this is a word you will often encounter, but it can be a little tricky to use it correctly. Let's check in with Tokunaga sensei to learn more. Kosei wa sorezere no mono ya hito ni sonawatte iru tokuyu no seishitsu no koto desu. Kosei no ushiro ni teki o tsukeru to keioshi ni narimasu. Tatoeba, seikaku ya kangae kata ga hoka no shito to wa chigatte iru shito o kare wa kosei teki da. と言います。反対に目立たなくて他と同じような様子の時には個性がないと言いますこのデザインは個性がないはよくあるデザインなので魅力を感じないという意味ですそのため個性がある方が個性がないよりもいいイメージがあります。個性があるを使って、他とは違うということだけを伝えることもあります。例えば、彼は個性があるや、彼は個性的だと言ったら、その個性をいいと思っているかどうかはわかりません。もしかしたら、変だ。ということを避けるために個性を使っているのかもしれません。Inside Japan。All right, let's learn more about Japanese naming trends along with some historical context. Professor Kobayashi Yasumasa says names are a mirror of society. Roughly 100 years ago, in 1926. Japan marked the start of a new imperial era called Showa. Soon, Sho became a popular name for boys, as well as Akira, which is another reading of the same kanji. A popular name for girls was Kazuko, which was derived from the kanji for Wa in Showa. In the 60s and 70s, Common names for girls included Kumiko and Yumiko, which both contain the character Mi, which means beautiful. These names embody the hopes of parents that their daughters would grow up to be beautiful inside and out. Professor Kobayashi says the decades that followed gave rise to more and more unconventional names. Recently, it's become common to name children after flowers and other plants or words that evoke certain imagery. For example, in 2022, this was the most popular kanji used for boys' names. The readings include so, aoi, and sora. Among baby girls, this combination of kanji was especially popular. Its readings include himari, haruki, And Hinata. We've talked about naming conventions today, but now let's go over how to ask somebody for their name. A good way to ask is, Keep in mind that people will generally give you their myoji. If you want to know a person's given name, ask, Shita no o n a m a e wa? Shita no o n a m a e wa? Hmm, well, that sounds simple enough.、Mm-hmm. But often in professional situations, you end up exchanging meishi or business cards、right. with people, and sometimes it can be really hard to know how to pronounce their name.、Yeah. So, what is a polite way of asking them how to pronounce it correctly? Okay, so try saying, Shitsure desu ga, o namae wa do yomimasu ka? Shitsure desu ga, o namae wa do yomimasu ka? Exactly. Got it. Well, this has definitely been an illuminating、mm-hmm. look into Japanese naming、mm-hmm. culture. I had no、yeah. idea there were so many creative <laughs> ways of reading kanji. Yes. And、um, names can embody the hopes and dreams parents have for their children. So I hope we've inspired you to learn more about Japanese names. We'll see you next time. See you soon.